in there. Even yeah. the sheriff's department has not had enough deputies or patrol cars. And they need all that money. Yep. Yep. No doubt. All right, well, we need some rain. Yeah, we Take do. a look. We're now streaking it again, you guys. Look at this. <laughs> it is oh boring. Gosh. Yeah, how boring is it? 49. Oh. Straight days without significant it's rain brutal. at the Sunport. What that number means is, you guys, that we've had a few days with a trace, but nothing more than a trace in 49 days. That Didn't is Didn't we get rough. rained out of a, a balloon fest today? I mean, rained out one morning, but that was at balloon fest, not at the Sunport. Yeah. Ah. Well done, Dick. Well done. Okay. Way to answer your own question. Yeah, okay. it's, it, you're right. I mean, that, but that was the last time up in the Heights. We got some yeah. showers. About a week before that, we got some rain down in or at the Sunport. So it's been a tough go. It looks like the end of next week, we could start to change things. But you know how that goes. It's a ways off. 55 in the metro right now. East northeast winds three miles an hour, 30s, 40s, and some mid 50s around central sections. Down to the south, temperatures in the 50s for the most part, although a little warmer around areas like TRC. Now we are going to see a temperature dip for tomorrow as opposed to what we had today. Las Vegas, we got up to 69, just 58 for tomorrow. Around Raton, going to drop off 11 degrees for our high tomorrow. East central sections in Tucum Carry, look out, we got to 83. Wow, looks like uh, my pauses did not happen in this map. But let me just tell you what's going to happen versus the fastest map you've ever seen. The temperatures for the most part around the four corners are going to be right around where they were today. But if you're along the east side of the state, we're looking at a 10 to 15 degree drop, a 5 degree drop here in central sections, and out to the west, 2 to 3 degree drop around Silver City, but not much in the four corners. And the reason this isn't real impressive is because the front that's coming in is rather shallow. It doesn't have a lot of cold air with it. So it goes ahead and knocks temperatures down a little bit in the east, 10 to 15 degrees, but not really statewide sweeping through. What we really tend to need to do that is a cold front with more depth to it and a cold front that either can roll over the mountains or squeeze through the mountain gaps. Well, this front isn't really in that category. So because it doesn't have a lot of depth to it, we'll end up seeing the east side of the state with most of the impact. The rest of us see a little bit of a temperature drop. Now, as far as showers go, not much. We're seeing a trough cross now, and that is going to provide at least the chance, even through tomorrow, at a quick shower across the southern tier of the state. But it's not going to be anything that's going to amount to a whole lot. So look for cooler conditions across New Mexico for tomorrow. Spot shower possible southeast and southwest. But the rest of us just end up with partly cloudy skies. Into Sunday, we'll go mostly sunny across the board. Pretty nice setup. But temperatures aren't necessarily going to jump up real quickly next week. We're going to stay a little closer to average temperature-wise heading in throughout the week, and then we'll see about, say, Saturday of next week, things starting to change a bit and get a better pattern in here for at least some showers, although this weekend and really the temperatures over the past week or so have been really nice. 60s for the most part across southern Colorado. Meanwhile, across the northwest, temperatures in the low to mid-60s for tomorrow with those mostly sunny skies. Looks pretty good. A few more clouds heading toward the end of next week. 75 in TRC, 72 in Socorro, 76 in Deming. A spot sprinkle is possible across the southwest and the southeast. We could grab an isolated storm during the day tomorrow. But again, I wouldn't plan around it if you have any plans outside across southeastern New Mexico. I think you'll be okay. Hopefully you'll get a shower, but I don't think the chances are actually on your side. That chance is only around 10 percent. 65 conscious, 59 and more on 65 in Santa Rosa. Meanwhile, northern mountains starting things off in the 20s, warming up into the 50s and 60s by later on in the day. Down into the east mountains, temperatures in the low to mid 60s, partly cloudy and cooler. Meanwhile, here in the metro area, partly cloudy east winds, a little gusty early in the day. So be aware that you could have breezy conditions early on, but you won't see as much wind later on in the day. Seven day forecast staying in the high 60s well into next week. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Mark. Sports is next.